Hello guys, here Mr. G with another video for the grade 12. This one is question 7 from the Medgia diagnostic exam developed by Professor Rodriguez and this one is about Doppler effect. This question says bats use high frequency wave to detect obstacles. A bat emits a wave of frequency 68 kilohertz and wavelengths 5 millimeters towards the wall of a cave. It detects the reflected wave 20 milliseconds later. State Doppler effect in words. Alright, so what does Doppler effect state? It says that it's the change in frequency detected by a listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound of propagation. That one is the Doppler effect. And guys, there is nothing to say, but you do have to learn this definition. Now, important, change in frequency detected by a listener. That is a very important part because sound source and listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound of propagation. That is the Doppler effect. Question 7.2. Calculate the speed at which the sound wave is traveling. Now, what do we no, we know the frequency. We are going to write that data that we have right here. Data. So what we have, we have that the frequency of sound uh, produced is equal to 68 kilohertz. All right, which is the same as saying 68,000 hertz. You have to convert to hertz. Second data, the wavelength is equal to 5 millimeters, which is the same as saying 0, 0,005 meters. You have to work in meters. Then the other, the other um, important data here that the wave took this time to go to the wall and come back, but it's not needed for this specific question. We are looking for speed of sound, all right? Now, if we go to the formulas, this formula is right here. Speed is equal to frequency multiplied by wavelength. This guy is extremely easy. So question 7.2, we're looking for the speed of sound speed of which sound is traveling, the formula, we're taking it from there, from the formulas. Remember to go to the formulas. The frequency was given to us, 68,000. That was the frequency. Multiply, we're going to use the bracket here, by 0, 0.005. And when you calculate that one, you get that the speed is moving at 340 meters per second. That is the speed of sound you have to calculate. It's very simple, guys. Question 7.3. Now, question 7.3 said, if the frequency of reflected wave is 70 uh, kilohertz, now important, this is the wave that is coming back towards the bed. Calculate the speed at which the bat is approaching the wall of the cave. Now, what I want you to know here, this bat is producing the wave that is moving towards a wall. Those waves are going to bounce on the wall. They're moving there and the wave that he produces is going to be equal to of having a frequency of 68,000 hertz, all right? That is the frequency that the sound has, frequency of the uh, source, all right? That was the frequency produced by the source. But now, what is or who is going to be the listener? The path is going to be also the listener now. I want you to note that these waves are now going to bounce back, so they're going to be reflected. And eventually, this bat is going to detect this wave there. All right? So it's going to be reflected. It's going to be reflected. And then the frequency 
detected by the bat, which is going to be the listener now, is going to be equal to uh, 70 kilohertz or 70 southern hertz. All right, not kilohertz anymore, hertz. So the bat, which was the source, become the listener right now here. Well, we'll also have that the speed of sound was calculated, the, the speed that with this uh, wave are moving and was equal to 340 meters per second. Okay? And now they're asking you the speed at which this bat is moving. Okay, so now what is the general formula you are going to use here? Well, guys, the, the Doppler effect formula is this one and we have to write it down exactly as it is there. You cannot change anything. So the formula is frequency of the listener is equal to speed of sound plus minus the speed at which the listener is moving divided by the speed of sound plus minus the speed of the source multiplied by the speed of by the frequency of the source. Now in this case because the listener is going to move toward, you are going to have a positive on top here. It's going to be a positive there in the substitution and it's going to be a negative at the bottom. So when we substitute here, we have that the frequency of the listener is 70,000 is equal to speed of sound, which is 340. Now it's going to be plus the speed of the listener, that is what we are looking for, divided by the speed of sound, which is 340, plus the minus the speed of the source, but the source, in this case, remember, was the wall. And the wall is not moving, so the speed of the wall is zero. The frequency produced by the source is the 68,000. So everything here multiplied by 68,000. And guys, this is simple math. So what we're going to do here is 70,000 divided by the 68,000 equal to 340 plus the speed of the listener divided by 340. Now, when you solve this one, you will get that is 1, comma, let me write 1, comma, 02941 um, and be careful here because if you run off too small then the, the, there will be a difference in the answer um, remember all this one is going to multiply the 340 let's do it here straight and this is equal to 340 plus v or speed of the listener know the following here at this point you cannot simplify because there is a plus so you cannot say 340 divided by 340 be careful with that one it's easy to get confused guys so when you multiply these numbers here here you will get that the speed of the listener is equal to um, 349 comma 9994 minus 340 and when you do that you will get the answer is 10 speed of the listener is 10 meters per second that is the answer of the question guys it's quite simple it's not that bad you do the calculation and you may get few difference here with this calculation by the rounding off and so on but i hope you understand it's quite simple so we are here for question 7.4. The image below shows three absorption spectrum obtained from the same source. In diagram A, the source is not moving. In diagram B and C, the source is moving in such way that it results in a red and blue shift respectively. So I want you to know something. What we are going to do is to compare each of them, B and C, with A. So we're going to go to the lines and you don't have to do this with all the lines, but for instance, I'm going to do it with this one here. You can see that this one shifted to the right and the other one to the left. And you can do that with any other line, guys. So uh, let's, for instance, do this one here. You don't have to do 
all of them with one line you do is going to be enough now the one uh, b is shifted to the right you could see that it's shifted to the right and they are telling you that that one is red shift and it is shifted to the right it means that on this stream is going to be red and on the other stream is going to be the uh, blue all right now in the second one is the blue chef you could see that it's shifted to the left which means this one is blue and then on the right is the red for both of them so the one at the bottom is blue shifted the one on top is red shifted now question 7.4.1 by using the doppler effect explain how a blue shift is obtained now the first thing you have to say is that the source is moving towards the earth it's moving towards the earth now what is going to happen if the source is moving towards the um the listener then what is going to happen is that the wavelength observed or detected will be shortened because it's going to be compressed all right so the lines that makes up the absorption spectrum will be closer to the blue side of the spectrum and the blue side of the spectrum guys is the one that have the higher frequency the blue side is the one that has the higher frequency and this one is question 7.4.1 is not too bad it's quite simple we almost done with this question which one of the diagram b or c is absorption spectrum for a source that is moving away so the red now is the one that is moving away in this case will be source b the one that move away it moves towards the red side and the red side have a less or smaller frequency therefore it means that it's moving away Okay, but I skipped question 7.4.2. They say, does the frequency of the absorbed line in the spectrum increase or decrease from left to right? Now, the frequency from left to right is going to decrease. It's going from blue to red. Blue have more frequency, red have less frequency. So, let's say that the blue has more frequency, the red have less frequency. So, is decrease will be the answer there b will be the answer there is decrease and then here is b we already answered this one the absorption spectrum of most far away object observed from earth show a red shift that what deduction can we make for this observation the red shift means moving away so it means that the universe is expanding the universe is expanding guys this is the end of this um doppler effect question i hope it helped if it did so please uh, thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here